All right. Um, now we're dealing with more waveguide technical stuff. So let's dive into this. Um, you know, I've talked to a couple engineers and waveguides are definitely useful in several aspects. So it's definitely worth uh, investing a little time into these. My professor at undergrad always uh, said these would be used a lot. And now the engineers verified what he said. Uh, but if you have experience, let us know. That'd be fun to talk about. All right, so our statement is, show that the mode TE00 cannot occur in a rectangular waveguide. The author gives us a hint. In this case, omega over C equal K, so equation 9.18 R indeterminate, and you must go back to uh, 9.179. Show that BZ is a constant, and hence applying Faraday's law in the integral form to a cross-section that BZ equals zero, so this would be a TEM mode. Okay. It's a whole lot of talking. Let's just get to what we know. Again, monochromatic wave propagating in a tube. We saw this last question. The curl of these waves, we saw how they react, or rather, we saw how they were derived last question and how they interact with one another. So if we have the curl of E is equal to B, if we have the curl of B to get to uh, 1 over C squared uh, partial uh, E with respect to T, again, all the equations we know we need. Um, okay, so the solution is then, by definition, a TE wave is one where EZ equals zero, and that's transverse electric wave. Okay, so if it's transverse, uh, the, zero, the Z component goes to zero. And so TE00 zero zero tells us that M and M are equal to zero. And if that's the case, then the wave number, or yeah, wave number K is equal to one over C, Square root omega squared minus zero. Okay. Uh, well, we got to be careful with that, don't we? And then uh, square root of omega squared goes to omega, so we're left with omega k or omega c. Again, that was given in the hint. No big deal. And so if we start from, so from the curls of these waves, since E z is equal to zero, we know from two that the z component goes to zero, so that partial goes to zero. And we get that EY is equal to uh, negative C, B naught X. Similarly, from 3, again, the Z component goes to 0. Cancel away everything we need. We get E naught X equals C, B, Y. And then from 5, we get uh, uh, do, 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 that B, B naught Y is equal to some other factor. Oh, B naught Z is equal to some factor of B naught Y. And then we have to substitute in e of x, which we just found was a function of y. So let's uh, substitute that in, cancel. And then we see, oh, look at that. We had a minus sign. Everything cancels out. So we see that the partial of b naught z is equal to 0. So b naught z has to equal 0. Okay, cool thing. So uh, as we see, um, we get some more zeros, and uh, if we do the same thing from uh, 6 and substitute in what we found from E naught Y, uh, push everything to the partial over, cancel out the negatives and the Cs, yep, 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 uh, we see that we get B naught X minus B naught X equals 0. So what this says is that partial B naught Z uh, with respect to Y and partial B naught Z with respect to X is equal to 0, and since B naught Z is equal to a function of only X and Y, a T E wave, B naught Z is in fact a constant. So Faraday's law in the line integral form, closed integral E dot DL is equal to negative B, uh, neg negative partial B uh, over partial T dot DA. Um, well, we see that uh, the time derivative of a B is equal to negative I omega B. So uh, again, plug that back in. The uh, E's can from the exponentials. And you see the negatives cancel, and we see that the closed integral of E dot DL uh, will simplify down. So again, DA. We see here, uh, once we plug it on through that, we get I omega E to the I KZ minus omega B naught Z times AB. Well, since B naught Z is a constant, it comes outside the integral. But if the boundary is just inside the metal where E is 0, it follows that B naught Z equals 0 since the left-hand side equals 0. And we have the right-hand side equal to I omega AB E to the I KZ minus uh, omega T. Everything else has a value, but 
B0 is still undetermined. So if the left hand side equals zero, then uh, B0 has B0 Z has to equal zero. And this would be a this would be a TEM mode, which we already knew cannot exist for this guide. So pretty good stuff right there.